today we're gonna go see some waterfalls i gotta help out my buddy move a few things at his house let's get started i got a big problem i realized that i don't have a mask and i left it at home and we're already gone so i'm hoping that they have masks here so i guess i'll find out they don't sell masks so we're gonna try a different spot hopefully uh Hopefully we can find some place that sells them outside so I don't have to go inside, but without that, I can't go nowhere. We're going to go to Cracker Barrel because we heard that they have free masks here. And if we have to buy something, then we'll just get some chocolate. But hopefully uh, we can get inside and get that mask. Because if not, this entire trip is going to be over with and I have to head all the way back home to get a mask. I'm not going to lie, I feel really bad for taking it because they didn't sell it. They were just giving it to us and we're not going inside because there was a wait anyways. But we got the mask and now we can go to the waterfall. Made it to the stepping stones. Now we just got to figure out where it's at, which I'm pretty sure it's right where these dang seagulls are at. And it took us about, what, 30 minutes to get here? Yeah, about 30. About 30? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if I do some illegal stuff, are you going to call the cops on me? Depends on what it is. We'll find out first. Let, let me see what the view looks like and then... I mean, I got your back on most things. But, All right, well, know, I appreciate that because... Uh, just, you know, trying to get... If I you. fall in, too, I mean, I just just let me go. I, okay. All right. So it looks like there's steps down there. Now remember, it says no climbing the dam. Okay? That's one thing that we're not going to be doing. Maybe. Let's see what's down here. Answer all my questions just to show me. What's on the other side of innovation? No apologies, my baby. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but those are some big old catfish and sucker fish. Let's see if we can get closer to them. See if we can get that close to him, Andrew. I can't see him on the camera. Not gonna lie, I really thought the waterfall would have been bigger. I mean, I'm not, I mean, Am I disappointed? A little bit, but a little bit. it's it's still a waterfall at the end of the day. I haven't seen a waterfall in a long time since like maybe five years, um, which was in the UP. So hopefully we can find some more waterfalls down this trail, which I don't think, I think that might have been it. So I'm going to probably end up going back home because I got some errands I got to take care of. Like one, I got to get the Game Boy fixed and the... Uh, Pokemon Crystal. I gotta get the new battery in that. Anyways, maybe we might take another shot up north and see if there's anything else we can find. We are back at game on, so we can get this game finally fixed. I really don't feel like it should take that long. I guess we should see how long the wait is. Bad news and good news. The lady who does the battery is not here, so I'm just gonna have to wait till tomorrow to actually get it done. They said it should only take about 15 minutes, which is awesome because I thought it was like an all day thing, even though it's like one screw on the back and then you just switch out the batteries. From what I'm assuming is what they do. I'm going ahead to Bay City now because I know that there's a trail there that I've been wanting to go through. And it's by a beach, it's by a whole bunch of like water parks and just there's a whole bunch of stuff there to see. Um, I might even go through town too because I know they have a pretty cool spot to kind of hang out and chill at 
Um, so yeah, Cedar Bay City. And I have to say, since the last time that I've been here, a lot has actually changed. And I was actually really hoping that we were going to be able to see some boats. But regardless, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something nice for us to see. Because normally there's boats over here. Which I know they have like a boat fest and stuff, which I don't know has been cancelled. Because of obviously, you know, the whole corona thing that's been going on. When I was younger, this building, whatever you want to call it, was actually never here. However, this, this was here. We actually used to skateboard all the time over here. And they used to hold festivals and stuff here too. Which is where this used to be held up, obviously, from the looks of it, it's under construction work. all the boats are over there but this is actually where all like the old pirate ships and stuff would dock right here some of them you were allowed to do tours on but actually you know what i'm not really sure if that's correct anymore because this used to be all open and just straight for both dock here goes a boat three hour sailing tours $45 for adults and $35 for a child. That actually seems like it'd be pretty cool. It's not even really that expensive. $45 for an adult. I can get at least like five people on that boat. And they do night tours too. Yeah, we're, we're definitely planning something soon. Just wait. I will say this, that Bay City actually has some pretty cool lights at nighttime. So if anybody's from around the area or at least visiting Bay City, I want to say like downtown bay city where i'm at right now it just has like nice like if you're into photography like if you like taking photos and stuff with lights all over the place this is definitely the place to take it and i don't really remember what's down this uh main street over down on saginaw street but i feel like all the bars slash clubs if you want to call it but i don't think they have clubs down here but you know you you know what i'm saying they're all down here yeah like see let's go take a walk through this Turn the corner here and see what else is up here. Well, that was definitely something worth seeing. This brings back so many good memories of the skateboarding days. Because the skate park used to be right up the road here and over the bridge. If you skated, probably would take you about 30 minutes to get here. But still, to us, that wasn't really that far considering that we used to skateboard literally for like three to four hours at a time. People, a lot more people starting to hang out here too, so. That's gonna be it guys. I'll, uh, gotta do some more running around. I gotta go back to Frankenmuth now, so. I'll see you guys next time. As always, Captain out.